Number 17. The following are properties of isotopes of two elements that are essential in our diet. Determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in each and name them. All right, so we have A and B, so I'm just going to write A up top here and B down here. And now let's get to it. So by now we should know how to get protons, neutrons, and electrons. If you don't, if this is the first question that you're doing, go back starting with number 11 up until now. Um, it would give you a more in-depth, you know, discussion on protons, neutrons, and electrons. But let's get down to it. All right, so for A, I see that we have an atomic number of 26, a mass number of 58, and a charge of plus 2. So we should know that the atomic number is always the number of protons. And because of this, this is the identity, identity, I think I spelled that wrong, identity of the element. So every single element has a different atomic number, a different number of protons. So in A, the atomic number is 26. So if I just say P for protons, N for neutrons, and E for electrons, the number of protons would be 26 because that's the atomic number. And it's because of the protons that you can find out what the element is. So on the periodic table, and get yours out if, <clears throat> if you have one, you're going to scan to see what the element is for an atomic number of 26, and that's iron, right? The 26 is the atomic number. So it's the A number, atomic number. So in this case, I'm already going to say that this is iron. Fe, that's the symbol. Now we just got to figure out how many neutrons and electrons there are. So the neutrons will come from the mass number. They told us that the mass number was 58. And mass number is always equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So if they're telling me that I have 58 as my mass number, and I just found out that I have 26 protons, how many neutrons will I need? Solve for n, or if you feel more comfortable, solve for x, right? That's the variable that we don't know. So you just subtract 26 on both sides. So 58 minus 26 is 32. So that means that I have 32 neutrons. So 32 goes here. Now we have to find out what the number of electrons are. And that comes from the overall charge. In this case, the overall net charge is a plus 2. So your net charge, actually, I'm going to put it over here. Net charge equals the number of protons that you have minus the number of electrons you have. So here, if my overall charge is a plus 2 and my number of protons is 26, what would be the amount of electrons that I need? So minus x and solve for x, right? So 26 minus what would get you 2? You would need 24 electrons. So that would go here. So in this case, the element is iron, and you have 26 protons, 32 neutrons, and 24 electrons. Box that answer off and box this off as well. That would be the answer for A. Now we just have to do the same thing for B. So I'm going to say protons, neutrons, electrons, and let's start. They tell us that I have an atomic number of 53, and the atomic number is the number of protons, and that's the identity of the element. So here, I know that I have 53 protons, and now I just look on the periodic table to find out who has an atomic number of 53. So it looks like over here, right? And this upper right hand corner, 53, that's iodine. So iodine. There goes the ice cream man. If you guys hear that, I'm sorry, but we're just gonna roll right through. So uh, iodine is the name of the element because it has protons of 53. Now let's find out how many neutrons there are. They tell us that we have a mass number of 127. So mass number equals protons plus neutrons. So 127 
equals the number of protons, which is 53, plus x. If we do the algebra and we do 127 minus 53, we should get 74 neutrons. So that number goes here. And last but not least, we have to find the charge of the, we have to find out how many electrons there are by the charge. They gave us a charge of negative one, right? And the net charge equals protons minus electrons. So in this case, the net charge was a negative one. So negative one equals, we found out that we had 53 protons. So 53 minus x. 53 minus how many would need to get us to a negative one? It would be 54. So that's how many electrons there are. Box that answer off. That's the answer to B. So you have 53 protons, 74 neutrons, 54 electrons, and the identity or the name of the element is iodine. All right? So guys, I hope this helped. If it did, and if you want more questions right on your feed, hit that subscribe button. It would help you out, and it would also help us out by getting the word out to other students just like yourself that want to do better. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in number 18. Take care.